The wedding ceremony between Jordan's Crown Prince Hussein and Saudi Arabian architect Rajwa Al Saif took place on June 1. The presence of distinguished international figures and the grandeur of the royal wedding created excitement. However, what truly captivated fans was the bride's attire. Who designed the wedding dress? What was its style? What jewelry did the bride wear? Was there any new tiara? With these questions in mind, let's continue to focus on this remarkable royal wedding. Rajwa entered the palace accompanied by Crown Prince Hussein's siblings in a custom 1968 Rolls-Royce Phantom. Princess Salma and Princess Iman assisted Rajwa in arranging her wedding dress to ensure her appearance remained flawless. The groom's brother, Prince Hashim, escorted the bride to the gazebo in the lush garden. This marked the beginning of the wedding ceremony known as Kat Ktab. For the official ceremony held at Zaran Palace, Rajwa chose an exquisite ivory gown designed by Lebanese fashion designer Eli Saab. The enchanting dress featured long sleeves, a gracefully draped bodice, an asymmetric neckline, and an embellished train. The elegant ruching detail on the shoulder complemented Rajwa's noble presence and accentuated her regal figure. To complement her attire, Rajwa adorned herself with a trailing veil, U-shaped chandelier earrings, Dior-style flats, and a diamond tiara. She opted for comfortable flats, which were ideal for the procession in the Zaran Palace Garden. Rajwa styled her hair in loose curls, adding the right finishing touch to her bridal look. Rajwa wore a new tiara on her wedding day that we had never seen before. The tiara she wore had the Arabic inscription Rajwata Minit Allah, meaning hope from God. Crown Prince Hussein looked dashing in his black military uniform and beaming with joy upon seeing his bride. His attire drew inspiration from the suit his father, King Abdullah, wore during his wedding to Queen Ronia in 1993. The traditional ceremony, known as Kap Ktab, was relatively simple compared to royal standards, with approximately 140 guests in attendance. Notable attendees included the prince's parents, King Abdullah II and Queen Ronia. In addition, other members of Jordan's royal family and foreign dignitaries. With the help of her sisters-in-law, the bride Rajwa achieved a flawless appearance as she made her grand entrance into the wedding venue. Princess Iman and Princess Salma accompanied Rajwa gracefully through the gardens of Zaran Palace towards the ceremony location, carefully attending to her gown's flowing train and ensuring her long veil was positioned perfectly. In addition to her ashy studio couture gown, Princess Iman of Jordan wore Sarah's bag arabesque box clutch and Jennifer Chimandi's Vittoria 105 brown leather pumps. Combining traditional and contemporary elements in her ensemble achieves a harmonious fusion of refined grace and opulent sophistication. Princess Selma of Jordan embodies beauty in Stella McCartney's draped maxi dress in aqua blue. The dress's impeccable fit and elegant design enhances the overall magnificence of the occasion, leaving a lasting impression. In celebration of this momentous day, Queen Ronia, as the groom's mother, opted for elegant and understated attire, striking a balance between modesty and luxury. Her goal was to ensure that she caught the eye appropriately without overshadowing the true protagonists of the wedding. This was done while exuding elegance. Queen Ronia donned a stunning black gown from Dior's fall 2022 haute couture collection, flowing gracefully down to the floor. The dress featured long, flowing sleeves adorned with cream-colored lace embroidery on the cuffs, collar, and back, lending it an exquisite and radiant appearance. Enhancing her natural beauty, Queen Ronia showcased her signature creamy complexion, accentuating it with smoky eyeshadow and mascara, which bestowed a radiant glow. As for accessories, Queen Ronia chose dangling gold earrings, adding sophistication. Her black hair was tastefully styled in a curled-up dough, elegantly swept back into a rounded bun with a side parting. Standing beside her husband, King Abdullah II, they observed their eldest son's nuptials with joy and pride. At that moment, they beamed with pride of proud parents. Following the event, Queen Ronia expressed her heartfelt wishes for the newly married couple through an Instagram post. May God bless both of you and fill your home with love and happiness, she said.